So take as many pictures as you can. Now, if you've never seen the movie Back to the Future, what is wrong with you? Watch that movie immediately. It's so much what we call facades. So the word facade is a French word, and that means frontage. But we've translated it into meaning false front, right? It's usually when we're talking about somebody who's not so real, we say, ah, oh, they're putting on a facade. Well, we call these facades because if you were to walk into the doorway of a lot of these buildings, there's nothing there. There's no interior built. There's no ceiling, there's no walls. Sometimes there's even no back wall at all. Because that's a fiberglass Ferrari shell and it's powered by a Volkswagen engine on the inside. After that, we got some of my favorites. The cars from Back to the Future and Back to the Future 2. Still, I love that movie so much. And then we go to the past. Yeah, but that would do. We got some vehicles from the Flintstones. And of course, we can't talk about picture cars without talking about some of the supercharged vehicles from Fast and Furious. And hey, make some noise if you're a fan of Jurassic World. Yeah, check it out, we've got a gyrosphere over here. Now look at that thing, what's missing from that gyrosphere? Anybody know? Oh yeah, cool, a bunch of people know. All right, we'll talk more about that in just a second. And oh, and do me a favor, car two, if you don't mind taking your seat, please, thank you so much. Now to wrap it up, we've got a couple of vehicles here from Transformers. The last vehicle on the left, a lot of people mistake that for a heavy looking tank. It's called a Bradley Fighting Vehicle. And while it looks really heavy, it's not. It's made out of 70% plywood. I think it's a big old model, right? Okay, so let's go. Now, while that mobile lab looks really heavy, it looks like it's made out of metal, just like that Bradley fighting vehicle, it's made out of plywood. As we drive past it, if you turn your head and look at the back end of it, you'll see that it's made out of plywood. In fact, a bunch of the stuff around here is not exactly what it looks like, what it actually seems to be. The trees on the ground that are like very flat, those are made out of plywood. Even the dinosaur cages are made out of plywood. And don't worry, those dinosaurs aren't really spitting venom and acid on them. <laughs> but I'm sure you got all a little bit wet, right? Oh, you know what? Ooh, my bad, I forgot to tell everybody. Hey, if you're sitting in a seat that's colored blue, you might get wet on the tour today. Area. But normally in a movie, no production by somebody called a Foley artist. The lightning just flashing strobe lights. Now all we need is rain. Now the rain is coming from something very fancy and technical that we here in Hollywood like to call sprinklers. That's all they are. They're sprinklers attached to the top posts. Now they are pointed upwards, that way the water shoots into the sky and it grabs and makes the raindrops fall back down to the earth. That's how we make it rain here at Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> oh. Hey Mike, you can turn off the water now. Yo Mike, turn off the water man. The last time we had it on this one, we had a flash flood. Oh no, look out everybody! Hollywood, the Bates Motel. Hey, does anybody feel like checking into the Bates Motel? 
Anybody feel like taking a shower in there? But one of the most impressive sex. All right, we are now entering into one of the sets used in Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Friends, I'll show you a bunch of stuff today on the tour that was fake, right? We made out of foam rubber, plywood, and fiberglass. Not this. This is a real Boeing 747 that was purchased and then broken apart for the production. 